A local mom says the mistakes she's made don't define her, but what she did when she got a second chance clearly does. After a bad decision, she ended up in jail. She says she had to dig deep not to just get herself out of the hole she had dug, but to understand the positively San Diego things she has to offer that would keep her from falling back in. It's not where we start that defines us. It is where we end. Up. Angela Carapia is reading from A Fierce Heart, the book that helped her find the strength to get her life on track after a choice derailed it eight years ago. Um, my mom was recently diagnosed with pulmonary idiofibrosis. My son was leaving for Cal, uh, Cal State Bakersfield. She says as a single mother, she was looking for a way to secure the money for her son's education. I didn't think I was going to get caught. I was transporting. The car was already this on um, this side of the border and I just had to drive it up to LA. I thought fast money, get the money and so it wasn't so fast. It, I ended up in jail. She ended up at Las Colinas Detention and Reentry Facility in Santee. I needed to do some soul searching and fix myself and the old me wasn't going to get me out of where I was at. Fortunately for Angela, she didn't have to do that alone. And all these reentry groups that I have attended have helped me to refocus on myself and learn to love myself and accept myself for who I am. The reentry groups offered by the San Diego Sheriff's Department are classes and workshops that teach everything from communication skills and culinary arts to finances and healing through performing arts. Too hot, too hot. It's very therapeutical. You do bits of Shakespeare, but within that, you also have um, reflection questions. So it makes you think and a lot of it was, you know, learning to grow through these situations. Studying Shakespeare's insights into the human condition opened Angela's eyes to her own motivations and connecting with others. I don't take things personal. Um, I've learned to not be so hard on myself. But she has been hard at work, earning certificates in just about every reentry program offered. Thinking for a change. This was the hardest one I had to finish because I was working, but I got it done. <laughs> she even won the Oasis Award for exceptional achievement in the Kitchens for Good management program. As part of an apprenticeship, Angela is working at Sombrero in Grantville, all part of finding the right recipe for her life. Second chances are there for everybody. I'm living proof, and, you know, they are there for you. They sure are. Angela has started 20 months of field work while continuing her recovery and meetings as part of her mandatory supervision. Eventually, she says she hopes to work in food service management. We wish her the very best. You can share your Positively San Diego stories with us by emailing right to that address, tips at 10news.com, or you can join our Positively San Diego Facebook page where viewers share their uplifting stories.